Our big story this morning after more than a week of being shut down and snarling traffic through the valley, US 60 is now partially reopened in Tempe. Yeah, that closure happening because of that major water main break that happened near McClintock. That is where we find Team 12's Jen Wall this morning. Jen, good news on a Monday as we get things rolling again. Uh, what's the word out there and when will the rest of the freeway open back up? Yeah, good morning to you. Great news for drivers that take these eastbound lanes. You know they were all waking up this morning, checking their Google Maps, checking in with Vanessa going, woohoo, I do not have to take side streets or whatever crazy route to get out the door early. You can see traffic is moving along here for the first time in more than a week on the 60 eastbound lanes at McClintock. But Scott asking about the westbound lanes. Unfortunately, this morning we still don't have timing for when that will reopen. But construction is still happening on that part of the freeway to make it drivable again. The eastbound lanes reopening yesterday after a water main break closed down the freeway more than a week ago Saturday. The city says they're working with ADOT on reconstruction that still needs to be done. There's still no cause for the water main break and the city says the break in the 24 inch steel cylinder water transmission line is behind a retaining wall near the top of the McClintock westbound off ramp. So it's not under the freeway itself. Now the city says that water line will be evaluated to find a cause and no cost has been released yet for this project. Again, there's still no word on when the westbound lanes will reopen, but the 60 eastbound lanes nice and clear. No problems this morning. There are still some restrictions on the overpass here at McClintock. So Vanessa, both the city and the police department are asking for you to try to avoid that area if you can, especially during those peak rush hour times. Yes, definitely. And I'll keep an eye on everything and I'll let you know when traffic starts to build up and when we're seeing any delays because of the closure. But right now, since it is early in the morning at 505, we do have a lot of green around the area. And like she said, Jen said the eastbound lanes have reopened. We have nothing but green over there. Westbound lanes are still closed, but we still have light traffic early at this time on the 60 and the 101. So we'll keep you updated when things start to change up so you can plan ahead for your commute this morning. When we take a look at the big picture here, we still have a lot of green, but there's one area that you need to know about as you're getting ready to head out in the West Valley. We do have a deadly crash on 43rd Avenue and Thomas police are still on the scene doing their investigation over there. So avoid that area. We have light traffic right now. I'll keep you updated when that clears up and if any other issues pop up this morning.